welcome to day 13 of the no added salt and exercise challenge so today I wanted to do something in the crock pot so I wanted to make a what is it called lentil tortilla soup in the slow cooker I didn't put the tortillas in there so it's really kind of just a lentil soup in the slow cooker but it's a Mexican -y type flavored lentil soup so anyways I vlogged this morning a video of um, the process of making it so I'm gonna insert that here so that you guys can actually see what it is that how I made it and then we'll try it in just a second alrighty guys so let's make some lentil soup all right so crock pot in the crock pot there's two and a half cups of water there's actually two cups of water and a half a cup of the water that was on the oh man that Sun is really bright this morning sorry yeah, anyways, this is a can of corn that has no salt added in it, um, and I used the liquid off of it. So, I'm going to put, have two and a half cups of liquid in here. The first thing is you're supposed to have one cup of diced onion and one bell pepper chopped. I actually don't have, I have about a third of a bell pepper chopped and um, probably a good cup, the amount of onion that I'm actually supposed to have, which is wonderful. Okay. So that goes in there. You're also supposed to put olive oil in here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to skip that. A jalapeno pepper diced. I'm also going to skip that. Um, and you're supposed to put half a cup of salsa in here. So my husband's salsa that he has is actually the kind of cilantro in it now. And I don't really want to use that. So I'm going to put in one tablespoon. Skip the jalapeno. Skip the salsa. Put in one tablespoon of these mild uh, roasted chilies. There, I couldn't find one that didn't have any sodium added to it. So one tablespoon of this that I'm putting in here has... 60 milligrams of added sodium. Sorry, I know this is supposed to be no salt added, but it's really, really close. Um, I don't think 60 milligrams in the entire pot of soup is gonna be that big of a deal. So, I've got one tablespoon of that in there. I'm supposed to put one 15 ounce can of no salt added tomato sauce. And then, you're also supposed to put one tablespoon of tomato paste, which I'm going to leave out. I think this is plenty of tomato-y going on right here. Um, one can of black beans, one can of pinto beans. They have been fully rinsed, ready to go. Then you're only supposed to use one cup of um, corn. I'm actually gonna use the whole thing of corn, seeing as I'm short of a little bit on the pepper and a I think corn is wonderful and lovely in every way, shape, and form, so we're just going to do a little bit of that. And then you're supposed to have three cups, no, three quarters cup of dried lentils. So I've got some red lentils in my container here. Three quarters of a cup is a lot for lentils. So you got all the beans that are in there, but this will work out. Okay. There we go, three quarters cup of lentils. And then some seasoning. So you want half a teaspoon of garlic. Doesn't seem like very much garlic to me for this big of a pot, but I'll follow the recipe. So one half teaspoon garlic. This is our chili powder that we buy at Sprouts. One half teaspoon of that. That's a lot more than half a teaspoon. Oh well, that's fine. One heaping half teaspoon apparently. And then one half teaspoon of some cumin, which I will not overdo the cumin, seeing as I don't really care for cumin very much. Okay, so the last thing that you're supposed to add to this is four corn tortilla shells torn into pieces. I'm actually not going to do that because if I want some corn tortilla shells, I'll just eat it with corn tortilla shells. Um, but that's it. That's all you have to do. So this recipe came from um, low sodium soup recipes blog spot anyway it's called lentil tortilla soup in slow cooker this needs to be cooked for um seven to eight hours on low or four to six hours on high so i'm gonna go get this started and we'll have a taste test this evening all right so that is the video of me putting it together and this is a, what it looks like now i mean it looks like a, a chili-ish based something or other so let's give it a shot and see what this tastes like it's very very hot so I'm going to blow on this so that I don't burn myself. I'm very good at that. Oh, while we're waiting for this to cool off, um, I checked my blood pressure. It was 102 over 59. Did I say 59 or 54? 59, yeah. 102 over 59. So 
that's about um, 102 is a little bit higher than normal, but normal for me, and 59 is a little bit lower than normal, so whatever. Oh, that's good. Cool. Okay, that's very good. So obviously I'll put a link in the description box below um, so you guys can go and take a look at this recipe. It's actually very, very good. It was not difficult to put together. Um, I would follow the modifications of what I did. Like, don't put the tomato paste in there and um, have the whole can of corn and the chilies, the little uh, green chilies, very, very good in here. And like I said, I really don't think that 60 milligrams of sodium, added sodium in the entire pot of soup is really that big of a deal. Because it made like two thirds of my, well, it's my little crock pot that's over on the counter that you can see, but it made like two thirds of the container full. So I really don't think that's an issue. That's good. So this would be really excellent with, um, like, if you take some little baby tortilla shells and spread some um, av mashed avocado on it and dunk it in there, oh my gosh, that would be delicious. But anyways, I have to go and get ready for work now, so I will see you guys again tomorrow. Oh, not tomorrow, in the morning. I'll see you in the morning. Well, hello everybody. So I am home now, and um, I had my lentil stew twice last night and had a quarter of an avocado with each um, time that I ate it and had some crackers. It was extremely good and I am very hungry, which is weird because I had plenty to eat last night. But anyways, so I decided that I wanted something very filling, but I also wanted something sweet. So that pretty much narrowed it down to oatmeal. I didn't really feel like oatmeal. So I made some um, soybean pasta, which all that's in it is soy flour. Um, so it's just soybeans. And um, made, <laughs> this is gonna sound so gross, it's not, I promise. Um, so I cooked that in the pot and let then drain the pot and then I put exactly what I put on the um, granola the other day. So I have a little bit of soy milk, um, actually not exactly, a little bit of soy milk, um, probably about half of a cup and one tablespoon of um, brown sugar and one tablespoon of maple syrup. And I just kind of let that start getting all bubbly and stuff. And then I put the noodles back in there and, well, half the noodles that I cooked up back in there. And that's what I'm going to have for breakfast. It's really good. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of random, but it's not. Well, it is random, but it's good. So anyways, that is it for me for today. Oh, exercise. I am going to go upstairs and ride the bike. Um, it sounds like something I could do quite easily and my husband wasn't super interested in doing an exercise video. So I'm going to go do that solo. Alrighty guys, I will talk to you again tomorrow.